Correct me if I'm wrong, but is this about to be a gangbang? <laughs> Guess who's running on 12 hours of sleep from all weekend? Hi guys, seriously, I am in crackhead mode, so I'm hoping this is gonna be a good ass video because Seriously, my sleeping schedule sucks. My queen Geraldine is back with another chapter of my cringy fanfic, part five. But guess what? It's like the Lion King up in this bitch because just like the Lion King 2, we've got the second part. This is a crazy day. Like I never thought it would get to this point, but here we are. So last time, let's have a recap. Uh, Michael and Freddie got me BTS tickets. <laughs> And I actually did go see BTS in real life, bitch. Insert clips of me screaming like a preteen here. <laughs> I did a terrible job at explaining the plotline of this fanfic in the video, but just know BTS called me on stage. And if I don't do something insanely embarrassing while I'm up there, just know that I will be fucking surprised. Now, continuing. Cue that careless whisper boo boo. Ashley gasped. They called for her. She wasted no time running up to the stage yelling, Yeah, yeet, as she jumped up. You know, I've said a lot of embarrassing things on this channel, and now I just said yeet out loud. I just said the word yeet. So. <laughs> the BTS boys began to dance around her, all in perfect form. Also, there's a South Park gif. I actually have never watched South Park, but I'm pretty sure this is South Park, and I don't know who these people are. Are there seven of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh my god, there are seven. Wow. But wow, what a moment. Oh my I god, there are guess. seven. They're kind of killing it. Like, honestly, Idol's kind of quaking a little bit. She was happier than a moth with a light bulb. The moth and light bulb beam. That was honestly one of my favorite memes of this year. To be surrounded by BTS, Michael and Frey cheering her on in the front row. Ooh woo. The smoke had a strong scent, particularly lavender. <laughs> that is not correct. Pacifically. P Pacific, like the Pacific Ocean. She began to feel dizzy until everything faded to black. After the show, BTS took Ashley back to their dressing room. Now look. <laughs> Look here. No, no, no. I. Mm -mm. They sat her down and circled her. Correct me if I'm wrong, but is this about to be a gangbang? Um, <clears throat> not complaining. When Ashley woke up, they stood there in cloaks. <laughs> Her vision was V blurred, but came back to her quickly. She tried to move her limbs only to find they were adorned by chains. <coughs> Ooh. So Ashley said Jungkook. <laughs> we brought you here for a reason. Shakily shake it. Shakily shake it. Okay, hey. I think we're on to something here. Instead of saying shook, we just say shakily shaken. No, maybe. Is that too much going on? I, you know, I think I use it, you know? From now on, I'm just gonna say I am shakily shaken. <laughs> shakily shake. I love that. Uh, shakily shaken. This fanfic makes me just shakily shaken. Ashley whimperly whimpers. That sounds about how I'd write my smut, you know? Well, why do you need me? Jimin steps forward because each of them remove their hoods and rip off their faces only to be unveiled as... Okay, this is terrifying. <laughs> We've got a lot, you know, you know, she had to put Jermaine in the front like that. The remaining Jacksons, Madonna, Quincy Jones, and a horrifying T-posing fuse of Martin Bashir and Conrad Murray. Ashley's eyes widened in fear. This was so random and not in a good way. Jimin or Jermaine at this point finished his sentence. The fact that Jimin is Jermaine, oh my God. We are, what? We are the I-H-B-W-M-A-F-O. What in the world is I-H-B? 
B-W-M-A-F-O, Ashley said. It stands for I had beef with Michael Jackson and Freddie organization. Where's Paul Printer? She didn't have enough room for Paul, it's okay. Honestly, we don't need Paul. We don't know him, you know? Oof, but I'm not Mikey Kun or Freddie Chan, so what are you gonna do with me? She stuttered. Tito grabbed a tube of pink lipstick and smirked. We're gonna make you preppy as torture and live stream it to them until they give us what we want. This was like when that girl at school would walk up to me and she had on like Sperry's and like pink lipstick I guess and like way too much mascara and her eyelashes were clumpy and her foundation didn't really match her skin. She wore like the flare jeans. You know what I'm talking about? And she had like the North Face jacket or whatever. That was like my biggest fear but like this bigger fear, you know? Bigger fear for emo Ashley. Ashley's eyes widened in horror. A prep? No, she shrieked. That to her was a fate worse than death. I mean, I crave death, let's be real. I was that emo Madonna turned on a nearby computer and logged into her YouTube account with the username American Scheme. Oh my god. Okay, so I like I'm scared to make a video on this, <laughs> to be honest. There is this guy that makes videos and he made a video at me talking about Diana Ross being Michael Jackson's mother. He like fully believes this. He literally made a video on his channel with my face on it when I was emo. Uh -huh. So this video, he literally asked me to make a video about what he talks about, which is Diana Ross being Michael's mother. And he will pay me $500 if I watch five hours of his videos and make a video on it. I'm kind of freaked out because he suddenly deleted the video about me yikes. To be honest I kind of want that $500 because I am a broke bitch. But that seems rather cultish of me so let me just not. She selected the streaming option. Jeremy stop chewing on your cage. I got you chew sticks yesterday. The screens in the stadium light up with grainy footage of them, but their cloak hoods were on. Hello, Michael. Hello, Freddie. We have your goth girlfriend. Quit making music and bring joy to the world, or else she gets it. Tito points to the lipstick tube aggressively at Ashley's mouth. Help me if you can! Michael looks at Freddie in the room. That organization has been trying to take us down for years, but they go this low, it's on. He turns back to the screen. Listen, if it's a fight you want, a fight you'll get. I don't play doggone games. You wanna see who's bad, man? We'll show ya. <laughs> Freddy joins us. Yeah, I'll put you under pressure with my headlock. We will rock you. <laughs> Ashley, hold tight, we'll get you, baby girl. Madonna steps closer and yells, good luck finding ya. Just then, Freddy kicked her in the throat. <laughs> That was a good one. They Naruto <laughs> Naruto teleported into the room, starting a brawl. Ashley was still bound by chains, unable to move her body. She still had her purse on her though. Oh right, she remembered. I have that emergency stick of butter with me. <laughs> Paula Dean is shaking. I mean, Paula Dean is. Wait, what was it? Paula Dean is shakily shaken. <laughs> she slides her hand into her purse and grabs a stick of butter. She rubbed the inside of the chains and slipped out. Okay, first of all, I'm kind of a dumb bitch, so like I could literally have a whole stick of butter in my pocketbook, have a way of escaping the chains, and I'd be like, you know what, I think I'm just gonna eat this piece of butter and die right now. Like, now was the time to do something. While everyone was distracted, she took out a small bag labeled guinea pig food and sprinkled a circle around the chair she sat in. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. <laughs> um, suddenly the ground began to shake violently. She stood on the chair and t posed. <laughs> I am Ashley, mother of the guinea pigs. <laughs> With those words echoing in the small space, thousands of guinea pigs put out the door and washed out everyone. The hamsters tickled everyone in sight, but they began to bite everyone but Michael, Freddie, and Ashley. <laughs> what are they doing? Madonna hollered. The way she spelled hollered. Ashley looked at her and said, Oh, you didn't know? By their bite, you shall become a hamster. And when you're guinea pigs, you'll be going to guinea pig jail. <laughs> The rest of the guinea pigs scurried away, leaving seven little ones behind. Ashley scooped them up and handed them to the guinea pig corpse. <laughs> corpse, cops! Oh my god, oh my god, there's a guinea pig. It's so cute! There's a guinea pig in a police car! 
That is a hamster you blithering idiot. But yes it is cute vroom vroom. You're coming with us at the guinea pig cop. Each of them were taken to the guinea pig whip and were driven off. Ashley and Michael, they all looked at each other. Man, that was some BS, Michael Puff. Oh my god, I knew this was gonna happen. I looked at BS and I was like, she's gonna make a BTS joke. And Freddie just, don't you mean that was some BTS? <laughs> Man, Jin's dad jokes are shakingly shaken. <laughs> Freddy, say that again and I'll make sure Bohemian Rhapsody never plays at another theater ever again. <laughs> also, I just have to read this. That's the end of the fanfic, by the way. I mean, that was amazing. 10 out of 10, you know? Basically, uh, Geraldine had some cool stuff happen, happen in her life after she wrote this chapter. She literally saw the Jacksons on Friday and got a picture of Marlon giving her a high five. I live! That's everything. And then she said she met their backup singer and he sang some of Michael's parts. Yes, mama! She said that she thinks Tito was looking at her. Oh shit, he wanna slide into those DMs, you know. Then she saw Panic at the Disco, which I like them pretty good. Brendan Yuri's pretty hilarious, if I do say so myself. And he signed her sign. Yes! Slay her! So yeah, her weekend was amazing. Like, I'm happy for you, girl. You know, you get that recognition by your faves, you know? But I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in to yet another weird fanfic. I love these so much, though. I remember the day I asked for a fanfic, and you guys just delivered. And Geraldine especially was like, excuse me, I have the best fanfic to ever exist right here. Look at my guinea pigs. They're eating some food. Look at them. Hi, babies! Also, we have like assorted nuts in their food, and like they love the assorted nuts. Just like their mom. <laughs> that was disgusting. I am so sorry. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys!